going. Welcome everyone to the Monday night Nadex application and strategy webinar series. My name is John Skelton with Apex Investing. Uh, Daryl, I was out last week and Daryl Martin uh, did the webinar for you guys and discussed with you some long-term butterfly strategies with Nadex binaries. Uh, if you've been with me here over the last couple of months, we've talked about some shorter term butterfly strategies like on the 20 minute binaries and we'll briefly cover those again tonight here but uh, Daryl talked to you about longer term butterflies tonight it's gonna be a pretty quick and short webinar we're mainly gonna focus on um, part-time and nighttime trading with Nadex binaries we won't cover a whole lot of the basics of a binary We won't jump in too details to all of the um, strategies and systems I've covered with you over the last few weeks but we'll touch on them briefly and then I'll show you where you can go to get some more detailed information on them and watch uh, full and complete webinars on each of the strategies that I'll touch base with you about tonight so let's just jump through our standard disclosures as always to get us starting uh, trading futures options or any financial instrument involves risk may not be suitable for every investor the information and strategies contained in this webinar are the property of apexinvesting.com and may not be shared or distributed without express written permission. So again, futures and options involve risk. Any trading decisions are your sole responsibility. The information in this webinar is for informational and educational purposes only, not an offer or solicitation of an offer to buy or sell any particular instrument offered by Nadex and as always past performance is not indicative of future results so okay let's make sure that uh, everyone is up and going with a Nadex account some of you have a live Nadex account some of you only have a demo uh, looks like we also have a good number of brand new people here with us tonight so hop on over to nadex.com and the first thing you want to do if you're brand new is make sure you have a demo trading account In fact if you don't have one go ahead and hop on right now and make one while we're on the webinar here uh, simply just go right here to nadex.com go to the trading tab go right here to demo trading platform it'll take you just a couple of minutes to set one up that way you're up and running and up to speed with us we'll help you kind of follow along here all you got to do is select a username and then first and last name, phone number, and email address. Press apply. In just a minute, you'll get an email with, uh, from Nadex with a temporary um, password. You can log right in and change that password. Um, one thing I do recommend right here when you choose your username, try to keep it short as you can because if you ever use the Nadex mobile app, uh, it is limited to the number of characters you can type in and so if you do want to be able to use the mobile app go ahead and keep it a little short there that way you have no problem with that uh, give me just a second here somebody's having a little trouble hearing us let's see here there we go all right and then once you have your demo credentials from Nadex, you'll be able to sign right in to the Nadex platform on your demo account. Basically what they'll do is they'll give you a $25,000 demo account uh, with $25,000 of play money in there that you can go in with and start to get familiar with the platform, how to trade, pla how to trade the platform, trade binaries. It's a great place to start practicing some of these strategies and systems you may have and some of the ones we'll show you here tonight. Um, you always want to practice and get a hang of things with your demo money, not your real live money. So anytime you are taking on a new strategy or system, always test it in demo. Always make sure you have it mastered in demo before you go to live. Okay. Um, like I said, once you get that, you'll be able to go over here to my account and you can go in here to settings and password and right there you can change the password from whatever the temporary one was that they gave you uh, in the email and you can go ahead and select your own uh, Joel is asking where do you get the demo just go to nadex.com okay Let's go to nadex.com and then right here trading demo trading platform okay 
and that's where you'll be able to sign up for that. What they'll do is they'll give you a two week free demo account. All right. Now, if you open a live account with Nadex, all it takes is $100 to fund a live account with Nadex. Once you have a live account with Nadex open up, all you have to do is make one trade. Doesn't matter if it's an $80 risk trade or a $3 risk trade. Just make one trade. And once you do that, contact Nadex and they'll extend your demo out for one year. Okay? So as soon as you sign up for the demo account, you got it for two weeks. If you open a live account, make one trade, go ahead and give them a call. They'll extend it for one year. That way you always have the um, demo and live there so you can test ongoing new strategies and systems and so on. Okay? Uh, again, I'm with apexinvesting.com. Apex is not owned by Nadex. Nadex is not owned by Apex. We are separate companies. Apex is an education company. We're a company of traders helping traders. We're an educational company. If you go to apexinvesting.com, I'm going to show you where you can get tons of free information, literally hundreds of hours of free education. Go to apexinvesting.com. Go right here, join for free. You can sign up for free, create a username and password. Uh, once you have that done, you can log right into our site here and you can get access to a bunch of information about Nadex binaries, Nadex spreads, uh, access to all of our previous webinars. So let me just kind of walk you through here real quick where to get some information. Like I said, we're not going to uh, go through the basics of binaries tonight. So if you're brand new with us, um, some of this might be a little quick or fast for you, but I'm going to show you where you can go to catch up. All right. Right here under the question on our website, here under the questions tab, if you go down to the second tab there, it's trading questions forum. This is our forum. There's a massive amount of information here on the forum. We have the forum divided up from S1, 2, 3, all the way to S12. Each different section here, Sanity, Steward, you know, talking about risk management, money management, uh, structure, strategies, and systems, all right? You can go right there and see tons of videos on all of our systems step by step, walking you through exactly how we do it. Right here, the general trading forum. If you just click this, right here you'll have Apex webinars and newest webinars. All right, this webinar I'm doing tonight is being recorded. Uh, I will have it posted here later tonight or first thing in the morning if you need to rewatch it or catch up on it. But for any of you that might be new, you can go here to newest webinars and you can go back and watch any of our previous webinars. We do educational webinars for Nadex every Monday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, in fact, if you go back here, you can see last Monday's uh, or two Mondays ago, scalping with uh, five minute binaries that I did. Uh, you can go even further back to choosing the right binaries. You keep going back all the way and see more and more. Binaries 101, the basics of binaries, how to trade 20 minute binaries, five minute binaries, all the information you could want there, all right? Another very helpful link here under the education tab. If you go to education and then right here, Nadex tutorials, um, we have a complete section on getting started with Nadex, how to use the Nadex platform, Nadex spreads and Nadex binaries. All right, so you can go in there and watch literally hundreds of hours of education on binaries and how to use them, how to trade them, and anything you could possibly want to know. Just an over overload of information there for you. Okay, uh, let's see here. Let's get rolling. Tonight's subject. Uh, let's see. <laughs> hey Raquel, how are you? <laughs> All right, tonight's topic: What markets can I trade at night? Nighttime trading strategies: How to scalp with Nadex binaries and the best instruments to scalp with, and being aware of news at night. All right, um, we have a lot of people, a lot of you on here have full-time jobs, have other things going on. You're not full-time traders, okay? You're not necessarily being able to sit in front of a chart for eight hours a day and monitor trades and watch the computer all day long waiting for these longer term trend trading strategies to be set up. Okay. And you're looking for something part time. You're brand new to trading, just getting into trading. 
Nadex is perfect for you there for several reasons. For one, when you're trading with Nadex binaries, you have very defined risk. Okay, you know ahead of time, up front, before you get into a trade, exactly what your maximum risk will be and exactly what your maximum reward will be. All right, so you have very limited and defined risk that you get to control based on which binary you choose to go with. But again, some of you only have limited hours to trade. Some of you work full-time jobs during the day and you can only trade at night after you get off work and finish family obligations. And you've only got a couple hours at night. Uh, some of you we've talked to want to trade early morning before you go into work. All right, and again, Nadex has those options. All right, I've talked to some people even on the West Coast that, you know, they're three hours behind, you know, New York time. In fact, let me just answer a quick question here at the start of the webinar here. Uh, somebody asked a question. Mary, I believe you asked, when I look at the time for the trade, is that in my time or general mountain time? How does that work? Well, let's address that real quick because that's perfect for what we're going to be talking about tonight. If you're on the Nadex platform here, for example, right now we're about 7.15 p.m. Eastern time. Any and everything you see listed on Nadex will be all Eastern time, okay? So let's see here. For example, if we go to Forex, let's just take a look at the US yen, the dollar yen. And right now, let me refresh this here. Any, any contracts you see, so for example, here in a little bit, we've got uh, just later tonight, the 11 p.m. expirations. All right, that's 11 p.m. Eastern time. Anything quoted on Nadex will always be Eastern time, okay? So keep that in mind when you're looking at any expiration, whether it's binaries, spreads, five minute binaries, anything at all on Nadex will always be Eastern time, okay? Now. You could trade, you could literally trade Nadex binaries 23 hours a day, all right? They open up at six o'clock on limited markets on Sunday evening. And again, that's six o'clock Eastern time. And then they'll close out at five o'clock on Friday, okay, Eastern time. Now every day between five and 6 p.m. Eastern time, Nadex is closed, all right? They don't offer binary expirations between five and 6 p.m. Eastern time. But otherwise, and you can even go here to the Nadex site, all right, and you can go to markets and it breaks it down. You've got your stock indices, Forex, commodities, events, Bitcoins. For example, if we go to stock indexes, it will break down here for you the contract specs and you'll be able to see all the expiration times, okay? So for example, right here, the Wall Street 30, which is the Dow, you, You've got 20 minute expirations, you've got intra hour, daily and weekly, okay? So with Nadex, you have literally trading options 23 hours a day, okay? Now, again, let's say you're only a part-time trader. You know, months back, you know, just in the last few months, Nadex has added on 20 minute binaries and five minute binaries on certain instruments. Back last year, they pretty much only had the weekly, daily, and the intraday, which expired every, basically every hour. They're two hour binaries, but there's one that expires every hour during the open market time. So that means if you were a part-time trader at night and you hopped on at seven or eight o'clock Eastern time at night, you only had a couple hours to trade. You only had two maybe two expiration times, you know, say the 8 p.m. and the 9 p.m. You only had one every hour to trade. So that might not have always given you a whole lot of opportunity with a limited time to trade at night because you've only got limited markets and only two expiration times during your available time. And that has really been a big change, um, a total life changer with Nadex adding on the five and 20 minute binaries, all right? And we're going to talk about that here. So what markets can you trade at night? Well, at nighttime, basically all of the Forex pairs, let me just pull this up here. Sorry about that. I'm having a little trouble with the, uh, I got too many things open here. Okay. 
at nighttime. All right, that's a good question, Javier. The 20 minute binaries. 20 minute binaries are only available on the four US indices, okay? And they're only available during the daytime. I believe they open up at 9.40 uh, Eastern time in the morning and they go uh, till four o'clock in the afternoon, all right? Those are not available overnight. The 20 minute binaries are on the indices during the daytime, okay? Five minute binaries. Five minute binaries are available on four different Forex pairs. The Aussie dollar, the Euro dollar, pound dollar, and the dollar yen, okay? And those are available 23 hours a day. Those are available daytime and nighttime. They're only closed from 5 to 6 p.m. Eastern time, all right? And they do not offer expirations at the top of the hour, meaning you'll have expirations every five minutes, you have a new binary that starts every five minutes and expires five minutes later. So even towards the end of the hour, you'll have one at 6.45 that expires at 6.50, one that starts at 6.50 that expires at 6.55, but you will not have one 6.55 that expires at 7, okay? So, but you do have five minute binaries around the clock, except for that hour. So in the evening time, you do have hourly expirations on Forex pairs as well, all right? And you've got you have five different Forex pairs that expire every hour. Then you have some Forex pairs that expire daily. Somebody's asking, what are the daily? Um, Gabrielle, you're asking, what time do the end of day trades for Forex binaries expire? If you go right here to Forex binaries, and let's just take a look here at Aussie dollar, for example, okay? Right now, there are four different, I'm sorry, there's five different daily expirations on the Forex pairs. You've got 3 a.m., 7 a.m., 11 a.m., 3 p.m., and 11 p.m. Those are considered dailies, okay? Now, you do also have expirations that expire every hour around the clock with Aussie dollar, Euro yen, Euro dollar, pound dollar, and dollar yen okay so you've got plenty of expirations there but again we're talking about like on the dailies those are hours out those are five times a day even with the hour of the expiration that's only one binary to choose from every hour so as a part-time trader that may not give you as many opportunities as you want all right and that's where for evening time the five minute binaries may be more what you're looking for there because you literally have 11 expirations an hour on four different forex pairs all right so you literally have 44 opportunities an hour to trade okay um let's see here we'll get a couple questions about sound can everybody hear me okay getting a couple yeses couple no's there All right, let's see here. Sorry about that. All right, Simon, yeah, you may want to try logging off and logging back in. We're getting most people say we're coming through pretty good there, okay? So with the five-minute binaries, those might be your best bet as a part-time trader because, again, 11 different expirations per hour, four different instruments. you got 44 opportunities an hour, okay, to trade there much better than waiting for one daily expiration or even one hourly expiration when you've got that many opportunities to trade okay and we're going to talk about that a little bit more here and how the five minute binaries work as we move on here so a couple of things to consider when you're trading at night so let's talk about nighttime at first then we'll talk about part time during the day um, what markets move faster at night? What is the best thing to trade at night? People always ask that, all right? People ask about the five minute binaries. Well, again, you've got four different ones to choose from. You've got Aussie dollar, Euro dollar, pound dollar, and dollar yen. These open up at 6 p.m. So let's say that you're an early evening trader. Maybe you're trading anywhere from 6 p.m. to 9 or 10 p.m. in the evening. Well, the Aussie dollar, and the dollar yen would probably be the first ones I'd recommend to you, okay? 
I would definitely say keep an eye on all of them. But why do you think the Aussie dollar and dollar yen might be preferable for the early part of the evening? Any ideas there? Get a little feedback. Right, exactly, Harold. The market open. Okay. Because obviously, you know that all the U.S. markets and U.S. indices open up at 9.30 Eastern time in the morning. But, you know, between 6 and 7 o'clock at night, you've got Australia opening up. And then an hour or so later, you've got Japan opening up. All right. So that's their morning. All right. That's their morning open, just like our U.S. morning open. All the markets take off. Things start moving. The indices start moving. FX can start moving. Gold and oil. That is their morning. All right. So that is when their markets are opening up. And that's also when a lot of their news is coming out as well. Just like news affects everything here in the U.S. Just like when we have uh, non-farm payroll or unemployment or U.S. housing or like this Wednesday we've got the big FOMC. Okay. Just like news can affect our markets in the morning, that is their morning. Their markets are starting to move. Their news is coming out. And any news that might affect their currency or might affect their stock market in turn affects their currency. So therefore, it's going to have an effect on the Aussie dollar or Japanese news will have effect on the yen. Okay. So what you'll find is that unless it's a big news event, unless it's a really big news event, you know, it's probably not going to affect the euro dollar or the pound dollar as much as it might affect the Aussie dollar and the dollar yen. All right. So if you're I mean, definitely keep an eye on all of them because they can all move. When one, you know, when something happens with one Forex currency, it affects another one, which affects another one. They're all tied together, but you're going to get the most movement early evening, most likely out of those two pairs. Then what you'll find is sometimes, depending on news and the market movement, you'll find that those two pairs and, you know, all the pairs can kind of start to slow down a little bit, you know, around, say, 11 p.m. at night you might see that the big move is kind of slowing down. And is that really a big surprise? What happens here in the U.S.? Things open up at about 9.30, and then what happens about three hours later? Things normally slow down. And why is that? It's called lunchtime, all right? It's called the lunchtime lull. We see it all the time here in the U.S. markets, okay? Things can slow down around lunchtime. Sometimes the, you know, the big, the big traders, the... Um, the big guys go home after lunch. Sometimes they come back. Sometimes they don't. All right. So you can see things kind of die down there, and then they might pick back up a little bit, you know, after midnight there, just depending on how things are going. Then you come to about three or four a.m. in the morning, and you've pretty much got Australia and, and Japan closing out. Uh, but then who's opening up then? Well, all of Europe then is opening up. You've got all the European markets opening up. You've got. Uh, Starting to get some movement there with the euro, starting to get some movement there with the pound. And so you'll see that those two currencies start to move a little bit more then. All right, because again, that is their morning. That is their early morning. So keep in mind, I'm not saying that the others don't move. I'm just letting you know which ones will move the fastest normally at what time of night. So if you're a nighttime trader, you want to be trading after you get home from work and you're new to binaries and you're like hey i know there's four different ones that i can trade but these five minute binaries are fast they go awfully quick i i don't want to watch all four eventually i'll get there but for now i just want to start with one or two if you're an early unit trader that's where you want to be aussie dollar and dollar yen all right if you're like hey i don't want to trade at night i go to work early in the morning i'll just get up a couple hours earlier all right. I know plenty of traders that do that. I know several traders that get up at 3 a.m. Eastern time to trade. Some of them are full-time traders. Some of them are part-time traders that have to do that before they go to work. They get up and they'll trade from 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. to get the, the European opens. And they might be trading the Forex. They might be trading the five-minute binaries. Or they might even be trading some of the uh, European indices. Okay. Um, Nadex does offer that. Uh, under binaries, under indices, um, they've actually, 
you know you can trade the china 50 overnight early you can trade uh, the FTSE. you can trade the german dax uh, the FTSE is the london index the dax is the german index those get moving 3 or 4 a.m okay so whether you're trading after work or before work those are some options there for you it kind of gives you a little bit of a direction of what markets you want to be focusing on at what time of the night or what time of the morning to kind of make the most of your limited time there all right so speaking of that why do you think news might be a very important thing to keep in mind because with the five minute binaries especially you've got yes exactly a lot of volatility all right so if you're going to be trading binaries let's take a look here i want to show you somewhere you can go if you go back over to our website here apexinvesting.com and right here this tab here is news and go to news trading plan okay there's plenty of places you can go online to get a schedule of the upcoming news events that are coming out um, or you know if you're only trading um, the five minute binaries you're mainly focused on forex you know you can go to forex factory you can go to plenty of other places to get a list of every single little news event but you have to keep in mind every little release or speech that somebody with the fed is doing or every little speech that someone overseas is doing is not always going to move the market all right um, but some of them will move the market some of them historically have moved the market and so kind of being able to weed out hey what news events are important what are not you know it can be a lot of work we actually do that for you this is free to all free members to use at apex all right so hop on over there to apexinvesting.com credit for username and password go to news news trading plan and we've got it broken down here for you you know for example uh, here today on monday uh, early this morning gbp which is pound that's a great britain pound uh, they had uh, their cbi industrial order expectation this morning just kind of be aware of that tonight right now uh, jpy the japanese household spending and unemployment rate come out um, here in a little bit the J J jpi retail retail sales later on like if you were to look at some of these other websites you'll just see all these little announcements everywhere left and right these are the ones that are letting you know what's important what's to be what to be aware of okay and on some of these bigger ones for example like tonight on the british pound you see right there it says iron condor okay we actually on some of these bigger moves actually tell you exactly what we recommend to do for that particular trade okay so like on this particular one tonight if you're familiar with what iron condors are and i can show you where to find that uh the various reports that are coming out they're being released at 4 30 a.m here later tonight remember like i said three o'clock everything overseas starts opening up this particular announcement is coming out at 4 30. we're looking to find an iron condor on the pound dollar entering as early as 11 p.m with an expiration of 7 a.m for a minimum profit of 30 dollars per condor okay um some of these with larger than you know with larger expected moves we have the historical information on what their general move is and we'll give you some recommendations on what we would trade all right now the ones that say be aware somebody's asking uh ronald's asking what do you mean be aware well like i said certain of these ones like you see here iron condors or sometimes you'll see straddles or strangles you know we'll tell you hey this one normally has a historical move of x amount we recommend this type of trade entering here exiting here and so on the ones that say be aware those are the those are some of the ones that historically can sometimes make the market move sometimes they can't it's not necessarily a enough historical movement there for us to say hey this will probably be a good trade we'd enter it this particular way it's more of hey be aware there is a news announcement there's a good chance that it will cause the market to move but not necessarily a large enough move to warrant a you know a, a strangle or a straddle or you know a particular type of trade it's just more hey be aware these can kind of be up or down all right 
so that way if you are trading and you know some news is coming up let's say that you're in a trade um, for example tonight let's say that you were in a trade tonight and it was 7:45, okay and you see that this particular news event is coming out at 750 well let's say you're in a trade and you're up you're profitable in that trade right let's say you just for example's sake let's say you bought a binary for eight o'clock expiration you bought it for 30 bucks markets going up and now you're up to and it's worth 70 bucks all right so let's say you're up forty dollars profit in this trade but you know in five minutes there's some news about to come out well when news comes out do we know ahead of time whether the news is going to be positive or negative do we know if it's a you know um, an oil inventory report in the US is it going to be positive or negative is it going to make the market go up or go down we don't always know that do we if we always knew ahead of time we'd all be uh, millionaires wouldn't we because we know exactly what to do that's the thing with news you don't always know what that news event is going to be you don't know if it's going to make your market go up or make your market go down. It might make the market shoot up or shoot down. So if you're in a profitable trade and you've got a few minutes to go before a news event comes out, you think you might want to close that trade and just run with your profits? Might be a good idea, right? Might be a good idea to close that trade, take the profit you already have, or at least move your stop a little bit to protect some of that profit, okay? So that's one of the big reasons that news is important because if you're already in a trade and you know news is about to come out you might want to tighten that stop or exit that trade if you're profitable okay the other thing you might want to do though and here is this is kind of I know I'm going on and on here this is really the key here to part-time trading if you're a part-time trader you want to trade these five-minute binaries at night but let's say you only have three nights of the week that you can trade and you can choose what nights those are going to be, but you've got some family obligations you got to take care of at some point during the week. Well, would you rather just randomly sit down one night and say, oh, I think I'll just trade tonight? Or would you rather be able to look ahead of the week? We normally have this news calendar done by Wednesday night of every week for the next week. All right. So if you're planning out your trading week, your part time trading week, don't you think it might be helpful to sit down and go, okay, if I'm going to trade some binaries, I don't want to sit there for two hours of my night that I'm taking away from my family and from my own time with a dead market and nothing going on. I'd like to sit down and trade when there might be some movement going on. I can make some quick money on a few trades and, and possibly be done for the night. Well, that's what you've got right here. All right. Yes, Rob, exactly. It's a big help because you can look and say, okay, well, uh, Monday night we've got uh, some uh, Japan news coming out there some Japan news coming out there cool 730 750 maybe we'll get some movement on the dollar yen uh, that might be a good evening for me to take some time aside to trade uh, Tuesday night let's see here nothing Tuesday night that's gonna affect you know the uh, Aussie or the dollar or the euro so maybe I don't want to trade Tuesday night what do we got Wednesday night Wow, let's check this out. Uh, Wednesday night at 7.50, we got the Japanese Preliminary Industrial Production Report. Um, we've got the Aussie import prices, and we've got the JPY Monetary Policy Statement, the JPY Housing Statement. Uh, so Wednesday night, you've got three news reports coming out on the yen, and you've got a news report coming out on the Aussie. So think we might see a little movement Wednesday night with the Aussie dollar or the dollar yen yeah all right so okay uh, what do we got Thursday here Thursday night uh, yep yeah, about 930 we got some um, well no let's back up here Thursday night 730 we've got several reports coming out on the yen uh, 8 o'clock we've got some Aussie news coming out 9:30. We've got some uh, some other yen news coming out. Okay, Loria, yes, NZD, yes, New Zealand dollar. That's correct. Um, so, okay, now that it brings up a good 
good point here so we actually look for news to trade as opposed to staying away very good question and let me let me clarify that I'll, I'll jump to that here in just a second Natalie because that's a very very good question um, but do you guys see what I'm talking about here if you're a part-time trader do you want to take the most advantage you want to make the most of your time that you have available to trade okay um, you got limited time you're gonna do what you can do here so just for example looking at this week and, and keep in mind I'm not telling you to not trade these other days all right just because there's no news doesn't mean that the market won't fly all right but you normally might have a better chance of some movement right after some news so if you've got limited time take a look at this schedule I mean what we just went through right there if you only had a couple nights you will probably say hey I don't think I'm gonna make it Tuesday night because there's nothing going on Tuesday night for these available pairs but tonight we've got some stuff Wednesday night we've got some stuff Thursday night we got some stuff and guess what you see exactly what time it's coming out you don't have to sit there all night and wait for it all right Cause keep in mind these are five minute binaries they start and stop every five minutes so you can really narrow down your time of when you might want to take advantage of trading okay double you're asking hey what does be aware mean we covered that what is an iron condor if you go again to this page news news trading plan you'll see this calendar scroll down just below the calendar and I've put several videos here all right there's a webinar on how to trade news events it's a webinar on how to trade the weekly oil inventory report step-by-step -step iron condors iron condors we don't actually do with Nadex binaries we do them with Nadex spreads um, how to use the iron condor calculator it's basically a whole if you're very interested in news trading and iron condors go through these videos take you a little time to do it but you'll know exactly how to do iron condors and how to trade news let's go back to Gloria's question because um, I'm sorry I think it was Natalie's question um, yes Joel this this particular calendar is just for Nadex well it's it's geared towards Nadex as far as any of the trades you see here uh, like if we recommend hey on this event use an iron condor or use a straddle or strangle that's all Nadex but you still if you're a spot Forex trader or a futures trader or anything like that you still want to be able to reference this calendar to know what's coming out especially for example let's look at this Wednesday this Wednesday uh, expect a lot of move, movement in the markets even in the US markets even if you're a stock or futures trader um, because we have Wednesday morning the pending US home sales then we've got our big one every week weekly oil inventory report comes out every Wednesday at 1030 but then here's the big one the FOMC and Fed funds rate all right and then you've got all the the different press releases and the and the speeches and the minutes and the that can have a huge effect on the markets and on Forex so yes the trade recommendations are all Nadex but even if you're a stock or futures trader you want to be paying attention to this calendar all right you don't want to be caught not knowing that news is coming okay so take a look here um, Erica yes I'll give you some pointers there here in just a second um, let's get back to Natalie's question of hey so we're actually looking for news to trade as opposed to staying away what does she mean by that question any of you that may um, have had any experience with trading or been trading for a while you probably have been scared away from news you don't want to trade news oh there's big news events coming out let's stay away why is that well it's like we just covered you don't know which way the markets gonna go okay and yes almost everyone says stay away from news you even you even heard me or Daryl here with apex tell you some news coming up stay out of it for now because we don't know what's going on all right and normally what we mean by that is you don't want to be in a position ahead of time and then get caught in that news because again market can fly up or fly down you also don't want to be sitting there listening to everything you hear on 
Fox News or MSNBC or somewhere else telling you, oh, it's going to go up, it's going to go up. Because I can guarantee you, well, about half the time, more than half the time, they're wrong. What they're all telling you is going to happen, it goes the other way. Hey, oil, oil inventory is going to be way up, and it's down. You know, the Fed's going to do this. They do, you never know. Okay? So we do have some strategies where you can take advantage of the news, whether it goes up or down, all right, such as an iron condor, like we've talked about here. And I pointed you where to find that information, where you're kind of going both ways. And we show you how to potentially be profitable both ways. Or maybe with a strangle with, with binaries, which we'll get to here in a minute. Um, but that's all talking about getting into news ahead of the news. And what you're trying to do is, how do I take advantage of as soon as that news comes out, as soon as that press report comes out and boom the market takes off one way or takes off the other way how can I get in ahead of that well that's one of the hardest things in trading to do and I'm not talking about that okay what I'm talking about here is not getting in before news I'm talking about getting in after news all right and I'll show you what I mean here in just a minute and it'll all kind of come together for you and uh, answer that question here for you Natalie okay so Five minute binaries. Let's get back to those real quick here. Um, all right, we've got four different FX pairs. Let's just go to the dollar yen here real quick. On the five minute binaries, you have five strikes available. You see them here? One, two, three, four, five. And they are three ticks wide. What do I mean by that? This binary contract here is at 119.10. This one's at 119.13. 16, 19, 20, they're three ticks wide, okay? So, you got five different strikes, three ticks wide. Give me a second here, you see time left, we've got 15, 14. These contracts are about to expire here at 745, and then the new batch of five minutes will open right up. So let's watch it, and I want you to see here, this new batch that opens up, you see them popping up here now and then these old ones will disappear and okay so there's our new ones there's our new five strikes in green see those those red will go away in a minute so we've got our new five strikes in green okay we've got our buy side here under offer and our sell side here under bid okay um, so if you wanted to buy one of these binaries you'd select from the right side offer you're gonna sell here so for example this right here 119.19 right now you can sell it for 23 or buy it for 35 okay so let's take a look at something here and I'm gonna get into this a little more in a second see this contracts priced at $23 what's this next one priced at $60 right see on the sell side $6 or $48. That's a pretty good difference in price there, right? But it's only what? Three ticks, pips, whatever you want to call it. Only three ticks difference. So with trading five minute binaries, which you have to keep in mind, and I'm going to show you an example of this in a second, you're not looking for huge major moves in the market. You're not needing a two or three hundred point massive uptrend in the market to be profitable we're only needing a couple of ticks and that's all we're looking for normally with the five minute binaries is we're looking to scalp them we're not even looking to get in and hold them to expiration all the time we're mainly looking to scalp them because they can move very fast with just a small amount of movement so after news happens okay and I think Cameron said it earlier um, news equals volatility volatility equals move volatility equals potential profit what we're wanting if we've only got limited time to trade at night part-time we're not wanting to sit there with a flat market right you're wanting um, some movement so right after news events and press releases is when you start to get some movement Okay, so Natalie, I'm not talking about looking for news to trade ahead of time. I'm looking for 
you want to find news events that might be coming out that'll get the markets moving create some volatility you know sometimes the markets move only 5 10 15 minutes after news sometimes especially like on FOMC day it can move for hours and be volatile for hours but if you got limited time to trade and you can kind of narrow down that time to be after a news event and get some movement in the market so that you can get some some quick pro potential profits there okay um, let's see here let me let's move on here and get to some examples to kind of piece all this together for you here okay uh, I've showed this to you in the past and I'll show you where you can go and, and watch complete step-by-step -step training on exactly how we trade five-minute binaries but we trade and scalp the five-minute binaries with our trend catcher system okay this is a screenshot of a chart don't be overwhelmed by this chart there's a lot on here but it's very simple to understand obviously you've got your your bars here which is the actual uh, charting of the bars itself all right green bars is what markets moving up red bars market moving down these are three tick bars okay our trend catcher system is basically the arrows the cyan colored arrow is a heads up of hey the market may potentially flip in a second and you may get an actual entry alert which is the solid red arrow here hey cyan is potential you may get a solid green arrow pretty simple here red down arrow what do you think that means buy or sell right and green up arrow buy right uh, not too hard right pretty simple down up down up okay so and if you see these squares here see these boxes that's what's called our expected range indicator all right it does two things for us it shows us what's the normal expected range for this time period and that time period is five minutes okay um, every five these, these ranges are set to five minutes so like basically right here at the start of this was the a new five-minute binary contract which would expired here at this line okay so if I'm trading this five-minute binary I got a down signal here so I sold a binary it went down right here we're already in, say a minute or so into this range I got a signal to buy it went up here down and then it kept going down okay in a nutshell that's how we trade our five-minute binaries I'll show you where you can get exact information on this and how to get the charts and and a step-by-step -step. okay but what we're looking for is after news comes out what is the chart telling us to do not what do we think what do we feel what do we want the market to do What's the guy on the news telling us to do? But what is the market telling us to do? What is the chart telling us to do? We're trading what's there, all right? And the trend catcher system is what tells us to do that. News comes out, boom, market starts moving. Was it positive news? Was it negative news? Which way is the market gonna go? Uh, that's what we have a chart for, is to tell us, boom. It potentially is about to go down on the next bar I broke it boom yes we're, we're, we're going short we're selling now we're buying selling buying. whatever the chart is telling us to do okay what we don't want if we're a part-time trader sitting there at night is a flat market we won't we don't want to see bars just flat we want some movement in these five-minute binaries so we can take advantage of that every five minutes to get that movement okay let me stop for a second here and catch up on a couple questions. Um, let's see here. Johnny, how do you decide which contract to pick and on what basis? I'll show you where you can get that in information. I actually covered that a couple times over the last month here in a couple different webinars. Uh, and I'll show you a link to those as well as the step-by-step -step course. It really, in a nutshell, it really depends because you've got different binary options there right you've got in the money out of the monies out the monies um, you know a couple things that determine that is for one how much time do I have left to expiration 
Am I getting in right at the top of the five minutes, or am I getting in with only a minute to go? If I'm in at the top of five minutes and the market's really moving, eh, I might go for an out of the money. Give it some time to move and get in the money, right? But if I've only got a, you know 30 or 40 seconds or one minute left, I might want to go in the money, you know, something that's already in my favor because I don't have a lot of time to expiration. All right, but I'll show you guys here in a little bit where you can get detailed information on setting this up step by step, which ones to use, and so on. Okay, um, Eric, do you post your trend catcher settings? Uh, there's no such thing as trend catcher settings when it comes to five minute binaries. Um, trend catcher settings are only valid and applicable to futures trading with the elite trend catcher system for trading five minute binaries. We already have a template set up. You load the template, it's all done. There's no settings, there's no changing settings, there's no adjustments. It's three tick bars. Somebody asked, hey, are these bars five minutes? These are not time-based bars. These are not minute bars. These are not five minute bars. These are tick bars, all right? See, see right here, three tick bars. Each one of these bars is a three tick bar. With, with Apex, you'll find that we very rarely do we use time-based bars. There's not a lot of our systems we have where we use time-based bars. Because in a sense, time-based bars are illogical. Why do I need another bar on my chart just because the Earth rotated a few degrees and some time passed? Does that really tell me anything about what's going on with the market? Or does it just tell me some time passed and the world turned a little bit, right? I've got a clock for that. I know what time it is. What I want to see is, is the market moving? Not as a clock moving, is the market moving? I've got a red bar here. I don't need another red or green bar just because there's another minute or five minutes. I want to know is, is the market ticking down? Do I need to be selling? Do I need to be going that direction in my trades? Is the market ticking up? Do I need to be buying? So these are tick bars, okay? Um, let's see here, Joel, can we use this with MT4? No, these particular charts I'm showing you, I'll show you where you can get them. They're NinjaTrader charts. I'll show you where you can get uh, free NinjaTrader and free data for NinjaTrader for futures data and Forex data, okay? Um, let's see here. Marlon, I'm not sure about your question there about the 133 ticks. If you can clarify that, I can try to get to that, okay? Um, so in a nutshell, this is how we um, trade the five minute binaries, is simply we're just going directionally with what the chart is telling us to do. So again, we don't want a flat market. It's one of the reasons we can look for news to come out and say, hey, I wanna start trading about that time. I wanna hop on, let that news come out, Boom, see what it does to my chart. What is the chart telling me to do, you know, directionally after that news? What is What effect is the news having on that market, okay? Natalie is also asking, do we ever trade on lunch? Um, yeah, I, I don't know if you're asking about overnight or even during the day, but yes, I'm actually about to cover that here in a minute about daytime trading. We have a bunch of traders that have full-time jobs, they have an hour lunch, and they'll trade at lunchtime. Because yes, sometimes some of the markets can slow down at lunchtime, but you can still get plenty of movement. All right, It's all based about what the chart's telling you to do. Um, one of the other big things that we look for on this chart is not only just up and down arrows, but right here you see our expected volume indicator. I've talked about that a lot. This yellow line is the expected volume. You know, historically, that's the amount of volume that you know is normally happening at that particular day and time of the day. The blue shade is the actual volume going on right now. And when that actual volume's blowing out past that yellow line, that means there's a lot of volume going on in the market. There's some volatility, there's movement, stuff's happening. So even if it's lunchtime or even if there's no news, if we're getting directional arrows to trade and we're getting some volume, that means the market's moving. You know, let's let's go. So I mean, a lot of times your indices are quiet during lunchtime, but there's not five minute binaries on indices. The five minute binaries on FX pairs. FX pairs can be quiet too. You just got to see what the market's doing. 
what's the chart telling you to do? Is the chart telling you we've got directional movement and some volume? Then there we go, okay? Um, I want to show you an example here. These are some screenshots I pulled. Uh, you might have seen this before. I just want to give you a idea here about how little movement we actually need sometimes with these five minute binaries. So this is a screenshot. You've got your five different binary contracts there, three ticks apart. I want you to pay attention to this particular one right here, 119.53, okay? That's the contract. What's the market at? 119.49. So the market is below this strike. The market is below this binary contract strike price. So what does that mean? It means it's out of the money, right? Because remember, at the money would mean the market's right at 119.53. It's at the money. Okay? Out of the money means now the market's got to move to get up there. So what's it priced at if I want to buy it? 24 bucks right so and I've got three minutes and 57 seconds to go till expiration okay so 119.499 now with two minutes to go the markets at 119.497 so it went down a little bit right what's it priced at 10 bucks so we had some time pass getting closer to expiration and the market dipped down just a little bit this went from 25 to 10 right now I got 1 minute 33 seconds left what the market do popped up to 119.51 now where are we at 33 bucks a minute and 11 seconds to go this is only 20 seconds later the market went up to 0.522. Now where is it at? 50 bucks. Okay? So you see that? Did we get a 100-point move there? Did we get a 10-point move, a 5-point move? No, we only got a couple ticks, right? And you see what it did to the pricing. So that's all we're looking for with these 5-minute binaries. Okay? Look here. Remember the 1 point, or the 0 0.53, 0 0.50. It's only 3 ticks apart. Look at the difference in the prices, 33 and 88, 17 and 73. And that's just with three ticks. So if we're looking to scalp with the binaries, which is what we do, and I'll show you where to find videos of exactly how we do that, you know, we may want to, what we may have done is say, okay, my chart is telling me to buy. I want to buy this one right here for 24 bucks. I've only got three minutes, I've got less than four minutes to go. I'm gonna buy it for 25 bucks because the chart's telling me that the market's going up. Let's say it was right here, for example, right? Let's say I got a buy right here because it's going up. Well, each one of these bars represents a tick and a half. So tick and a half, tick and a half, tick and a half. So here to here was would be four, okay? Everybody follow me there? If I bought in on this bar where it told me to, kept going up it went up four all right so I bought it for 24 bucks it's at 0.49 remember what happened down here when I got up to 0.52 only three ticks what was it worth then now all of a sudden what if it kept going up all right so my point is it doesn't take a whole lot to somebody saying hey what does it mean to scalp what I mean to scalp is this with a Nadex binary at expiration is either worth zero or a hundred that's it that's what a binary is binary is yes or no true or false zero or a hundred if I buy this binary right here I'm saying that the dollar yen will be greater than 119.53 by 4.50 p.m. I'm saying I think the market will be above that. This is a true statement, so I'm going to buy. If I buy it for 50 bucks and the market does expire above 0.43 or 5.3, then this contract that I buy for 50 bucks expires true in the money 
it's worth a hundred bucks. I made fifty bucks. If I think, no, I, I don't think the market's going to expire above that. I think it'll be below here. Well, then I want to sell. If I'm selling, I'm saying it's false. If I'm buying, I'm saying it's true. Okay. So, but I don't have to hold it to expiration. If I hold it to expiration and I'm right, it's worth a hundred bucks. But I don't have to hold it to expiration. Okay, what do I mean by that? Well, let me give you an example here. Um, okay, remember right here. Let's let's look at a different one. This this one nineteen fifty. Right here, I could have bought it for fifty two. Okay, and then the market was at point four nine seven. Right. Well, if the market kept going up and it kept going up. If I held it to expiration, it probably would have expired in the money, right? And it would have been worth 100 bucks. Or I could just go ahead and sell it right now for 87. So I bought it for 50. The market's going up, it's going in my favor. So since it's going in my favor, it's getting more valuable. It's getting closer to being worth 100 bucks. So I could just sell it for 87 and scalp it. That's what I mean by scalping. I'm getting in. Letting it go up 20 or 30 bucks, and I'm getting out. Well, you might say, well, why do that? Why not just hold it and get more money? You could have made 13 more dollars if you held it to expiration. You know what? Maybe I could have. But what if the market's going up? I bought it for 50. Market's going up. Now it's worth 60. Now it's worth 70. Now it's worth 80. Now it's worth 87. But I say, ooh, I'm going to hold out just because I'm greedy and want 13 more bucks. Then the market drops two ticks right before expiration. Then what's it worth? If I go out of the money, worth zero. So that's what I mean by scalping is, hey, I've got a chart telling me sell. I sell, it's going in my direction. I get a few ticks out of it. I make 20, 30, 40 bucks out of it. I'm out. A little bit later, I get just telling me to go along. And this is a perfect example right here. Look. So I bought right here because it told me to buy. It went up. It went up. It went up. I'm probably up like 30 or 40 bucks in profit right here, right? Then what happens? Boom. A down bar. So how often are you going to be saying, man, I should have held out for that 12 more dollars? Compared to, okay, um, man, I just probably lost 50 bucks. Why did I not take my money and run? You know what I mean? So that's what I mean by scalping. Is we're getting in and out based on what the chart is telling us to do here. Because when the chart is telling us, hey, it's flipping directions, it's going down. Flipping directions, going up. Flipping directions, going down. We only need a couple of bars out of that to go from 0.49 at 24 bucks to 0.52 at 50 bucks. It's only a few ticks, only a couple ticks. Okay, so um, let's see. We've got a couple questions, and then we need to move on. We're going a little long here. Jack, I was just using this as an example. I was just using an example of how they, just showing you how they can move there. Okay. Um, Uh, Mary, I'll cover that here in just a second. Um, if the in the money in your previous example should be selling. Thanks. Um, Joel, what is your opinion on Nadex over regular binary brokers with unregulated brokers? Um, I can. I'll direct you again to a couple of webinars I've done on that. Um, my personal opinion is Nadex is one of the only binary brokers in the U.S. that is licensed and regulated in the U.S. Um, there's a lot of these overseas binary brokers that are not regulated. They're registered, but they're not regulated. And, you know, registration means nothing. Registration has no teeth. They have no bite. You send your money to somebody overseas and then you trade that account and try to get your money back. Um, what's there to help make sure you ever get it back? There's nothing. Um, I personally would not send any of my money overseas to 
any uh, outs any non-U.S. broker um, that is not regulated, except for there's only one I can recommend, which is IG Group. Okay, um, I, IG Group would be the only one I recommend. It's all about regulation, not registration. Regulation meaning a federal government entity that can go in there and cause some problems, uh, shut somebody down, or put big time fines and penalties um, for them not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Okay, Daniel IG, I as in uh, Igloo, G as in GOAT, IG group. Okay. Um, okay, somebody's asking, can you show the five minute binary options for crude oil. There's no such thing. Um, like I've been saying here, the five minute binaries are only available on these four Forex pairs, Aussie dollar, Euro dollar, pound dollar, and dollar yen. Okay, oil does have weekly, daily, and uh, intra hour expirations, but not five minutes. Okay, uh, let's see here. There you go, Daniel. I sent that to you there. Okay. Uh, sorry, guys. Just trying to catch up with some questions. We've got, oh, 230, 240 people on here and getting all kind of questions here. So uh, let's see here. Yes, five-minute binaries are available on demo. That's what I'm showing you here is an actual demo account. They are right here. If you have trouble seeing them, hit, re hit refresh right here. Okay. Uh, all right, let's move on here. So that was nighttime, kind of focusing on the five-minute binary, showing you how you can sit down and in a very short time have a lot of opportunities there. All right. Um, daytime. Daytime is pretty much the same. Same strategy as the nighttime. You have the five-minute binaries available to you during the day, uh, but you also have a lot of other options during the day because you have more markets open. Okay. Um, guys, several of you are asking about some of these charts and data, how to get some of this. I'll cover that here for you at the end. Um, you've got a lot more options during the daytime because you've got more markets open because all the U.S. stuff is open now. All right. You've got the U.S. indices that are open up. You've got all the commodities are opening up and starting to move. Um, you know, you've got 10 different FX pairs. You've got four U.S. indices. You know, two or three overseas indices and all your commodities, gold, oil, copper, silver, natural gas, and so on. Uh, you've got the dailies, the intra hours, the 20 minutes. The 20 minute binaries are only available on the four FX pairs. Okay. And what do I mean? Or I'm sorry, on the four US indices. So you go to indice binaries. We can't see them now because they're not open during the day. Um, they open up, I think the first one is at 9.40 a.m. to expire at 10 o'clock. So what do I mean by 20-minute binaries? Well, they're available on these four right here. The U.S. Tech 100, the U.S. 500, the U.S. Small Cap 2000, and the Wall Street 30. All right. Those are the four indices. That's basically the Dow, the S&P, the NASDAQ, and the Russell. Okay. So you've got... Just like on the five minute binaries, these are 20 minute binaries. They open up and then every 20 minutes later, they expire. So during the daytime, you, again, you've got hourlies, but now on the four different indices, you've got expirations every 20 minutes. And then you still have during the daytime, the five minute binaries that expire every five minutes. So. Yes, someone was asking earlier, hey, what about trading lunchtime? I, I, you know, I can't trade early before work. I can't really trade a whole lot at night, but I got an hour off at work. I mean, I, I even had some people ask me, say, hey, you know, I get two, I get a 15 minute break, an hour lunch, and a 15 minute break. Can I trade on breaks? Well, that's up to you. But yeah, I mean, on an hour during the daytime, when you've got hourly expirations on all of the different Nadex pairs, you've got 20 minute expirations on the four indices, and you've got expirations every five minutes on four different FX pairs. You literally have almost 80 expirations in an hour. 
So yeah, can you trade during lunch? Yeah, you literally have 80 expirations. You've got 44 expirations just on the five minute binaries. You've got 12 expirations just on the 20 minute indices, plus all of your other hourly and daily expirations, okay? Um, so yes, you have all of those available to you during lunchtime. And we basically trade them the same way. We basically trade the 20 minute binaries, just like we trade the five minute binaries. Same type of chart set up. We just use a little bit different bars and 20 minute ranges um, and going in and scalping them, okay? Um, yes, we can trade, you can trade them directionally, scalp that way. Uh, we also do butterflies. Daryl talked to you guys last week about longer term butterflies. Um, we do a lot of butterflies on the 20 minutes as well, okay? Um, Eric, we're actually gonna cover quite a bit of that next week, kind of how to incorporate that. Um, do you always, Glenn, do you always get a fill when trying to scalp the five minute binaries? Please advise. Um, when you say get a fill, do you mean am I able to get in it, able to get out of it? Can you clarify that a little bit, Glenn? And I'll definitely try to answer that for you. I just want to see exactly what you're meaning there. Are you trying to say that, hey, they move so fast I can't get in? Or are you trying to say, do I get in and, and is there you know, do I have trouble getting out as a fill? You can explain that a little more. Um, can we trade commodities in gold and silver? Yes. Yes, Joel. They, uh, Nadex does have spreads and binaries on gold, silver, copper, natural gas, oil. There's a whole section of commodities. Okay. If you, um, you're not going to see a whole lot of them open right now, except for the dailies right here if you go into your account or demo account right here the first two are indices you know which are the stock indexes and you got Forex which are the FX pairs Aussie dollar euro dollar and then right here you've got commodities all right the copper corn oil gold natural gas soybeans so yes Nadex does offer spreads and binaries on commodities and yes you specifically asked about gold and silver that they do okay yeah, Eric, we'll cover some of the scanner stuff as well. Um, Natalie, what strategy is best? Natalie, just set me up again. This is perfect. What strategy is best for lunch if the market is not moving much? Well, glad you asked because that's what we're going to talk about right here. The market is not moving much. Okay, remember the chart I showed you earlier? where we had a lot of movement going on up and down. And remember, I was talking to you about the expected volume. Remember where the volume was going crazy here? Meaning market was very volatile. But what if we see where it's just kind of flat like this? This particular chart is a five minute chart where it's really flat. It's not really busting up or busting down. Well, Daryl talked to you guys last week about long-term butterflies, meaning an hour to several hours out. We do what's called butterflies on 20 minute binaries. Okay, what does that mean? Well, remember these boxes we talked about, these range boxes. These are every 20 minutes because we're talking about 20 minute binaries. So I have the ranges set to 20 minutes. This is the expected range of the market, meaning historically, by this day of the week, time of the day, historically, the market's not going to, historically, expected to close above this box or below this box it's expected to stay within this range from open to close okay does that make sense now so that means the market's kind of flat here we can kind of see it flat no expected volume how could we possibly take advantage of a flat or range bound market well what we could do there and I'll show you where you can get exact detailed information on exactly how to do these step by step what we do there is what's called a butterfly. That means we're going on both sides. We're not just doing one binary. We're not just, we're not going directional. We're not buying saying the market's going up. We're not selling saying it's going down. Okay. So what I'm doing here, if that were the case, where the market's flat, staying in between the ranges, not getting a lot of exceeding volume. What if I was to buy a binary right here at the bottom of this range? If I buy a binary, what am I saying when I buy? 
I'm saying that the market will close above where I'm buying, right? Because I'm saying the statement's true, I'm going to buy. So I buy a binary here, and then I sell at the same time, I sell a binary here. Because what am I saying if I sell a binary? <coughs> that the statement's false, that the market will close below this level. So I'm buying one binary and I'm selling a total different binary, right? So what I'm basically saying is I'm buying, saying the market will close above where I buy, and it did, see? Or I'm selling, saying it will close below where I sold. So what I'm looking here to do when I see a flat market, like Natalie was asking what about lunch times when not every day at lunch is it slow, but most of the times it can slow down right how do we trade that we already talked about how to trade news events or after news events when the market's moving and how to take advantage of movement what do we do when there's nothing a butterfly we buy and sell so basically what we're looking for is we just need the market to close somewhere in this box as long as it closes below where we sold and above where we bought we'll actually profit on both sides right because both will be true statements, the buy and the sell. Okay? So, example of that, here's a screenshot example of what I mean by that. If I can just get this, there we go. So, on this particular example, I sold, or I'm sorry, I bought the 2051.05 and I sold the 2055.05. So there's about right at what five or four ticks difference there, right? So I basically said I'm buying this one and I bought it for 8250, saying the market will be above 051. I sold this one for 1950, saying it'll believe be below 055. So as long as it expires somewhere in between there. Both of these will be profitable. And at the time I put, took the screenshot, the buy side was up $12.50. The sell side was up $12. Okay, so total profit potential there, if I had held both to expiration, about, what, 18 bucks on this side, 19 bucks on this side. You know, so it's 37 bucks there. All right, it's not huge, but again, if I can do that every 20 minutes, there's only one contract. I can do 10 of these if I wanted to. You know what I mean? So I'll show you where you can get the step by step. Um, I'll show you where you get the step by step details of how to do these butterflies. Okay. And this was not held to expiration. This was before expiration. Okay. Um, let's see here. Marlon, actually, that's exactly what we look at in our charts. I do not use the Nadex charts. We actually use live data um, directly direct live data for the underlying instrument okay so perfect uh, question there 20 minute binaries so I'm trading during the day part time I'm at lunch uh, I'm watching some five minute binaries maybe I'm catching some movement on some five minute binaries I'm looking at the indices they're slow they're flat how can I take advantage of that as a part time trader on my lunch break well there's one example right there I can do or, or even on your 15 minute early break, you know? Market's flat, how'd I do it? I look and I find a butterfly, okay? I'll show you where you can get more info on that. Uh, the other thing you can do is a strangle. What if it's the exact opposite? What if you're, uh, what if the markets are flying? What if you're on your lunch break and the markets are moving, okay? Well, what's a strangle? Let's talk about it real quick here. I know we've been over it quite a bit. Here's a picture of our binary scanner showing all the different strikes available right here on the Wall Street 30. Okay, uh, Ronica, I'll show you where to get that. So we've got binaries that we can buy from $11 to $91. All right, see this one right here is priced at about 50 bucks. That's what we call at the money, right? That means that's where the market is, is right at $17,893. All right, these are your strike prices. These are the different binaries available. 
So if this one's priced about 50 bucks, that means the market's right here about 17,893. So if I bought this binary way up here at 17,921, that's out of the money, right? Because the market's down here. I'm buying this one saying the market would have to be way up here. So if I bought this one for 1150, what happens if the market moved up to 17921? What would this one be priced at? I bought it for 1150. What do you think it'd be priced at if the market moved up to 17921? Exactly, Rob. It'd be an at the money binary. So then it'd be priced around 50 bucks. So I could buy it for 1150. If the market moves up, probably be worth about 50 bucks right now let's look at the opposite example markets here 17893 what if I sold this binary for $86 down here at 17865 well if the market moved down here what would this one now be worth approximately same thing right about 56 bucks about 50 bucks because that's where the market would be all right if I sold for 86 if the markets up here okay I'm getting a, I'm getting some conflicting answers here to my question so if right now the market's at 17893 I think the market's gonna go down so I sell I sell this one right here I sell this $86 one and I'm right the market comes from here down to here this isn't going to be 86 anymore. It's going to be about 50 bucks. So I sold it for 86. I can buy it back about 50 bucks, make about 35 bucks on it, right? So what if we don't know? Okay, Ahmed, I'm not following you at all. What you mean by 93, 86? There, you have to you have to explain. If I sell this right here for 86 bucks, and the market comes down to this price this one's gonna be worth about 50 bucks okay um, so what if we don't know which way the market's gonna go it's not a clear directional day we've got some movement some volume going on but I'm not sure which way it's going it's kinda of moving up kinda of going down we can do both alright and let me show you an example of that what I mean by that is say I bought this one say the market's right here I buy I'm gonna buy this one for 1150 and I'm also gonna sell this one for 86 bucks so I'm going to try to profit. I'm not sure which way the market's going, but I'm going to try to profit either way. These are very low risk trades. We're taking an out of the money binary on both sides. We're expecting some movement in the market. We're just not sure what direction it's going to go. But what we need is some expected volume. So again, we've got our 20 minute range bars. We're seeing, hey, the market's moving, right? But it's kind of up, down, up, down not sure which way it's gonna go but you know it's not a clear straight down trend or straight up trend remember our expected volume here boom 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 it's just firing off that means we got some volatility going on in the market we got some movement going so 20 minute binary opens up right here right this box is 20 minutes so I bought and I sold so I mean and I sold up I bought up here and I sold down here market pops up boom well market went up towards that that one that I bought right well let's take a look okay well I was on the wrong one right here so we've got some movement volume so what did I do I bought one at 4287 so that would be let's see here 4287 about up in here and I sold one at 42.77 down here. So what did the market popped way up here, right? So at the time of my screenshot, the market popped way up here. I bought this one for 15.50, and now it's worth 70. So I'm up 54 dollars in profit. Now the one I sold is worthless. With this strategy, we're not trying to profit on both sides. We're expecting for one side to lose normally because we don't know which way the market's going. We just know it's moving. So we're going to buy one and sell one really low risk. And so it popped up. 
the one I bought for 15 bucks is now up $54 in profit. But I sold this one for 86, which means what's the difference of 86 and 100? 14. So my risk was 14. So I lost $14 on this side. So I got to take that out of this profit. So I'm up about 40 bucks. Okay. This was like on NQ for the 120 expiration. This is on the 20 minute binaries. All right. Uh, on TF for the 140 expiration, 20 minutes later. Same thing. I got some movement. Things are going up and down. I got volume. All right. Boom. So I'm going to go into this next 20 minute period and I'm going to strangle it. This is a strangle, right? Sold one for 83. So my risk was 17. I bought one for 25. So my risk is 25. What happened? Boom, boom, market went down, right? The time of the screenshot, the one I sold was up $64 in profit. This one was worthless. Why? Because I bought way up here saying it had to go up there, and it didn't. It went down. So I lost 25 bucks on this side. So I got to take that off of here. So where am I at again? Eh, I'm up about 40 bucks, right? Okay, um, here's another one. 220 a little bit later same things look at this volume see that volume just firing off going crazy got some up and down movement right sold one for 79 bought one for 20 bam that side's up 52 bucks this side down okay so guys that's just a quick run through there of some part-time daytime nighttime if you've got very limited time to trade you really want to dive into these five minute and 20 minute binaries. All right. And you really want to look at learning how to scalp those five minute binaries all day long, every five minutes, whether you're trading morning, lunchtime or night. Um, and these 20 minute binaries as well for the scalping, the butterflies on the, you know, flat markets or the strangles when they're really moving. So I know I threw a lot of info at you here. Might be a little confusing. So what I want to do is just real quick give you, show you where you can go to find step-by-step -step videos that you can watch of exactly how to do everything I just showed you to do here. Okay. Because um, so we just kind of fired through a bunch of different things. Go to our website, apexinvesting.com. Yep, there's a lot of information here can be a little confusion of where do I go what do I do what is all this stuff let me help simplify it for you real quick okay what what are we doing here tonight we're talking about Nadex right we're talking about Nadex binaries you're all on a Nadex webinar all right there's only three places I want you to focus right now everything you need is going to be in three places first place questions forum Okay. All you want to focus on here for now is right here, general forum, webinars. A couple of you asked again, some of you got on late, is this webinar being recorded? Yes, I'm recording it. I'll have it up later tonight or tomorrow right here under newest webinars. Okay, everybody see that? Questions? Forum? newest webinars all right so you'll have tonight's webinar there you'll also be able to go back and watch any of the webinars we've done over the last multiple weeks okay why you're in this section if you just all if all you're interested in seeing is the last couple months of monday nadex webinars we've done it's right there monday nadex webinars okay there you go Reverse scalping with Nadex, binaries 101, how to hedge futures. There's all kind of information there. You can go there and you can go to newest webinars. All right? So that's the first place you want to go. Okay? Second place you want to go. Pretty much everything you need to know is right here under binaries essentials. We basically have two different memberships, kind of two different. Uh, paths with, with apex this elite room is elite this is more for stocks futures forex if you're nadex you want to be right here if you're trading nadex binaries binary essentials pretty much your world is right here in this tab all right 
This first one talks about some memberships, trade rooms, boom, right here. Trading system courses. See this five minute binary trend catcher course. Remember I talked to you about how we trade five minute binaries. I talked to you about the trend catcher system. I showed you the chart with the up arrows, the down arrow. Remember all that? All you have to do is go right there. Binary essentials, trading system courses, and watch this course right here. Yes, you have to watch a course. Do I have to watch a video? Do I have to go through the, you know what? You don't have to do anything, but if you're not willing to take some time to go through the videos and how to set it all up, you know, I'm not being rude, but you might not be needing to trade some live money there. You know what I mean? But this walks you through everything, live trades. There's some trades that Daryl did a few weeks ago. He's this. He literally shows you thousands of dollars of trades, profitable trades right here, going through, showing you exactly the live chart. He's live trading. He's in his live account. He's showing you the chart. This is lining up with this. Look, I bought it here. You see him buy it. I'm selling it here. Shows you live trades. Okay, walks through. Real quick, making sure you have a good understanding of five minute binaries. Right here, structure, Nadex, Ninja. We show you how to set up Ninja Trader. What Ninja Trader is, is that charting system I just showed you. It's free. We show you how to get live data, not online random charts. This is actual live data of the underlying itself for futures and for it. We show you how to get it all for free. I, I walk you through on some of these training videos literally how to set it up. I show you on my computer. I'm clicking the link for NinjaTrader. I download NinjaTrader. I click the link for data. I, I show you exactly what to do. And then we go into some of you were asking earlier, hey, on the five minute binaries, how do I know which one to choose? We walk through that, the different reasons why you might want to choose one over the other, and then the exact system, how to enter it. You can watch all this for free, guys. You can go right now and watch this okay everything you need to know any question you would be asking me right now about these five minute binaries is right there step by step okay um, yeah Sherry not on a Mac yeah um, uh, yeah I'd recommend getting a PC for that also under this binary essentials again same place trading system courses okay right there is a step by step course right underneath it is a link to the forum where other traders we have over 12,000 traders on we have 12,000 members on the apex website right there you can go straight to our forum look at all of the feedback all the conversation back and forth all the questions that people have asked about five minute binaries right there okay we talked about strangles remember I just showed you strangles where the markets moving and I'm buying a cheap $15 one, I'm selling a cheap $85 one, hoping to remove. Right there. Binary strangles walks you through exactly how to do those step by step. I covered it briefly, it'll go through it in depth. Um, see here, we were talking earlier about what to do at lunchtime when the markets are flat. Showed you an example of a butterfly where we're buying and selling in the monies, hoping the market expires in the middle and profit on both sides. Again, I walked you through it real quick. Right there, watch the course. Step by step how to do them. Okay? Um, don't be overwhelmed by this website. There is a lot of information here. You can get to it another time. All right? Some of this is about stocks, some of it's about futures, for spot forex, CFDs, like all kind of other things. You don't even need to worry about anything else here. All you need right now is question form to get the webinars and then walk through binary essentials. It's called binary essentials because that's what it is. It's everything you need for the binaries. If you go through these, these the five minute course, the strangle and butterfly course, you have everything you need because in this five minute course, it walks you through how to set up the charts, how to set up the data, how to set up your computer, how to get the your account open like everything it's all right there okay um let's see here no sure you cannot download ninja trader onto a cell phone no it's a pretty big program you would need a, a desktop for it 
Um, you also might, you know, if you have a Mac, you could also look at maybe getting a, uh, like a cloud or something. Um, but no, I, you would need a, you would need a PC for, um, for Ninja Trader in those charts. Uh, Mary, is that chart in there showing whether binaries are going up or down trend? Yes, that is exactly, okay, right here. Binary Essentials tab, number three, Trading System Courses, five minute binary course. If you watch that course, it'll show you how to set up everything and it will show you how to set up these charts I was showing you earlier on five minute binaries. It'll walk you through the system, the entry rules, the exit rules, everything. Nope, can't use iPad. Not too, too big of a system there. Yes, it'll show you exactly how to set up this chart. Mary, okay. With the five minute binary system, the cyan colored arrow is a heads up, it's alert, it's a hey, get ready. Market may be flipping. If it does flip, you'll get a solid red telling you to go short. Market is going down. Sell a five minute binary. Cyan arrow, heads up, might be turning around the other way. Boom. The next bar gives you a green, yep, buy. Here, turn around, sell. Now look what happens here. See these cyan arrows? Well, you never got a solid green after that, right? So that means the market was going down, down, down. Mmm, that bar kind of started hesitating and kind of going back and forth, but it ended up still closing down. So you never got, on the next bar, a solid green to go long. If you notice here, this one, we've got a cyan to go down. See this next one with red? See this red line below it? That means that next bar broke this level, which gave it an entry confirmation to go short. Here, this bar, you got a heads up. Next bar, green, boom, popped that level, entry confirmation. Follow me there? So, yes, that course will show you exactly how to set all that up, okay? Um, yeah, if you go through, get a couple questions about Mac and PC and yeah Macs are just not designed to for, for trading computers with these systems with Ninja Trader and you know some of these other programs uh, I recommend getting a PC for trading um, you, you know you, you could if you don't want to go out and buy a PC or a new laptop or desktop you could go online and get a cloud or a um, when I say cloud, I mean like a virtual machine. You know, you can find companies out there that'll, you know, they're, they're 30, 40, 50, up to a couple hundred bucks a month, just whatever. You know, you could get parallels, you know, for Mac, or you could get an online like cloud, which is basically an online machine, which would be a PC that you could access from your Mac or from anywhere. Some people prefer to get parallels, you know, on their Mac to, to have it work with Windows and all that. Uh, one of the nice things about a cloud is, though, you could access it from anywhere. Okay, so um, can I view the Apex charts on the same tab as the Nadex trading site, or do I have to flip between tabs to keep up with things? Yeah, you'd have to have different. Yeah, you'd have to have different uh, tabs there. So, okay, guys. Uh, again, I'll have this webinar tonight. Uh, tonight's recording up later tonight or by the morning um, next Monday May 4th uh, we'll have another webinar again we have them every Monday night next week we'll be talking about quick start steps and long-term goals uh, what we're covering there is is kind of if you're new to trading how to get going how to get up and going quickly but at the same time keep in mind your long-term goals of trading you've heard us talk about a lot of times, hey, people are new to trading and I just want to go and I just want to start making all this money and I want to quit my job. You know, and you're starting off with a smaller account and you're risking too much, looking for a big payout. You've got to be smart. You've got to be disciplined. You've got to have good money management and risk management. You heard us say it all the time. You're not trading for the next 12 days. You're looking at trading for the next 12 months. Not where you're gonna be in 12 days, but where are you in 12 months? You gotta to survive to be here in 12 days or 12 months, and that's risk management. May 11th, Binaries 101, uh, especially for you newbies, 
um, we're going to go through literally the basics of a binary. Okay, um, step by step, how does a binary work? Uh, what is a binary? Buying and selling, all those details. Uh, May 18th, in the money, out of the money strategies. You know which binary to choose, and then towards the end of the month, we'll start talking about some Nadex spreads. We haven't covered a whole lot of spreads lately. We've really been focused on binaries, so we are going to cover some of that. So, okay, guys, if there, unless there's any last-minute questions here, I'm going to probably start to shut us down and let you go. We went kind of way over there, as as we always do. I seem to just kind of go on and on. Sorry about that. Um, I appreciate you guys being on here. Some good questions tonight. I hope this really helped put some things into perspective for you, especially for you part-time people about, you know, I've only got limited time. What can I really trade? What's available for me to trade? And how do I really make the most of that time? And that's where we were talking about the new stuff. Check out that news calendar on the website. Let that be your help and your guide for you know planning your your week out I mean I know how it is as a part-time trader I mean if you're doing you know you got a full-time job you got family you got kids it, it takes a lot to sit down and learn trading learn something new much less practice it and sit there bored in front of a chart with nothing to do you know with your family in the other room yelling at you <laughs> um, so Plan that around some news. Get some movement. Get something going on to, to make it good and, and worth your while there. So, okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and shut it down here. I appreciate you being on. Um, hop on the website. Check us out. Hit us up over there at apexinvesting.com on the live chat or the help desk if you have any questions at all. We're there to help. Uh, again, on the website, don't get overwhelmed. Your world is there under that binary essentials tab. That's everything you need there for getting going with Nadex binaries. So, okay, guys, thanks so much. Have a good night, and we look forward to seeing you next Monday night. All right, thank you.